we are continuing to build our capacity uh, under the understanding that we will need additional capacity for testing. As you know, uh, we increased uh, the, the public uh, lab for a state lab by about tenfold in the last two weeks. The University of Washington has now come online. They, they started their testing, I believe, two days ago. They are continuing to refine some of their activities, I'm told, to essentially dial in some of the parameters on their equipment. But uh, we're told that that will increase, uh, hopefully, significantly in the upcoming well, days. Initially, we always work with folks to try to make sure that they can home quarantine if possible, mm -hmm. home isolate. Mm -hmm. If they really have nowhere else to go and we can't find no place, then we use facilities like this. Mm -hmm. And so these would be folks that, in the quarantine side, would be healthy. They would be um, possibly exposed to coronavirus, mm -hmm. but we would be keeping them away from other folks for just a little while while we learn whether or not they're going to develop disease. Mm -hmm. If at any point they became ill, they'd be taken to a healthcare facility and, and treated there. Food? So Absolutely. How, how are they getting food here? So we can we can get them any food that they'd like. We mm -hmm. I know in the Shoreline facility we were mm -hmm. making regular grocery runs for the individual. Um, he was really comfortable actually making a lot of his own food in here. Mm -hmm. We also, I know, uh, did a couple of runs for other things from restaurants and right. and whatnot, which allowed him to have uh, something a little bit different than his own cooking. So yeah. we've been trying to make sure that we can really accommodate this well. Yeah. Um, certainly one of the things about a quarantine is regardless of um, how you put it together, it's always up to that individual to really comply with it. And mm -hmm. so we try to make sure that the experience of being quarantined is um, a good experience so that that person will actually stay in quarantine. Stay, yeah, and you, you want compliance. And compliance, well, exactly. People do agree. Exactly. Could people come in and, and talk at distance? I mean, could somebody stand over there and talk to people or not? Is that, does that work? Absolutely, yeah. And in what we were working out of the shoreline facility is there were a lot of conversations like that. Our staff, of course, were, were using PPE, but it does allow for a lot of social distancing. Personal protective. Abs personal equipment. protective equipment, yes.